The Pout Pout Fish Cleans Up the Ocean by Deborah Dyson. Pictures by Dan Hanna. The ocean is amazing. Mr. Fish's grin was wide. The beautiful surroundings left him wonderstruck inside. His head was full of happy, and his heart was full of awe. But his smile sank away when he turned around and saw... A big, big mess! Whatever could it be? But he couldn't really tell, so he talked with a friend who had noticed it as well. There's a problem that needs solving, and I don't know what to do, but I'm going to find some answers. Would you like to join me, too? Absolutely, said Miss Shimmer, as she grabbed a few supplies. They'd travel to the mystery mess and see with their own eyes. Swimming off, they were enchanted by the ocean big and bright, but looming in the distance was that dark, dismal sight. A big, big mess. What's it made of? They both wondered, and they pondered this out loud. Around them, others gathered, in a small but growing crowd. There's a problem that needs solving, and we don't know what to do. But we're going to find some answers. Would you like to join us, too? Count us in, said Mr. Seahorse, and he powered up his rig. Enthusiasm bubbled. Yes, the group was getting big. They jetted through the ocean in a peaceful sort of bliss, but the thing that stretched before them was impossible to miss. A big, big mess! Who will fix it? Fish were asking, hoping someone else would know. There was lots of conversation as they traveled with the flow. There's a problem that needs solving, and we don't know what to do. But we're going to find some answers. Would you like to join us, too? All as one, said Mrs. Squid, as she swished away some junk. The group continued forward toward the nearing pile of gunk. They reached the mystery mess. They took measurements and samples. They made notes and they did research. They found similar examples. When everyone was finished, they assembled to discuss. They came to one conclusion— the problem is... Us! We made the big, big mess. They froze in disbelief. Then they all began to shout, feeling troubled and uneasy, and some began to pout. Were they stuck with this forever? Would it worsen? Would it grow? Mr. Fish was worried, too. But there's one thing that I know. It's awful that we caused it. But this bad news can be good. 
for it means that we can solve it if we all agree we should. Silence filled the ocean. Their future was at stake. It was a moment of decision. But which one would they make? A big, big yes! We can do it, they exclaimed positively, yes and yup. So they all pitched in together and they cleaned the ocean up. They gathered up the garbage with the help of everyone. They worked hard to fix and remedy the damage that they'd done. Then they talked about new habits, how to travel with less trace and reduce their use of plastic and put trash into its right place. Problems have solutions, so we learn what we can do. Together, we're the answer. Would you like to join us, too? A note from the creators of the Pout Pout Fish series. Mr. Fish and his friends are counting on you. Even if you don't live anywhere near a beach, there are many things you can do to help clean up and protect the ocean. Learn more. Your parents, teachers, and librarians can help you learn more about risks to our oceans. Some questions to ask include, what are the causes of ocean damage? Which ocean creatures are affected? How do changes in our oceans impact other parts of our planet? Take action. Make choices based on what you learn. Can you use fewer packaged products and plastic containers? Can you participate in a trash cleanup? Can you carpool or ride your bike instead of being in a car? In what other ways can you make a difference? Grow the change. Tell others about what you learn and about the changes you're making. Knowledge is powerful, and good choices are contagious. Scale up the impact of what you're doing by sharing it with family, friends, neighbors, and community leaders. Together, we're the answer. Thank you for joining us.